Hello and welcome to the Eurovision Song Contest semi-finals 2010, live from the Telenor Arena in Oslo, Norway. I am Sarah Kayward. And I'm Paddy O'Connell. Welcome to Oslo. Here we are. Now look, I'm doing the commentary. It's up there by about two minutes. You'll see Sarah. Yes, I'm and we'll hear up. you. Okay, you. Paddy, Godspeed. We'll see you up there. There are 17 countries competing tonight. Only 10 can make the final on Saturday. So without further ado, let the show commence. Deep. Oh, it's right at the top. These are little spheres, spheres of Eurovision glee. You could call them balls, but we call them spheres of glee here. They represent the hopes and glitter ball moments of millions of Eurovision fans gathering together to share the moment. Let's head inside Oslo's Telenor Arena. There are three hosts this year. Good evening, Europe! Eric's on the left, he's the boy. Nadia is on the right and Hadi is in the middle. Good evening, UK, from Norway. Around the continent, there's a financial crisis. They're banging their heads about the Euro. Here, they're grinding their hips. Forget the Euro, this is Eurovision. They've forgotten their wives tonight. Let's hear the start. Welcome to the 55th Eurovision Song Contest. Bonsoir l'Europe, et soyez les bienvenus au 55e concours Eurovision de la Chanson. With a record-breaking total of 387 points, Alexander Rybak captured the hearts of Europe and brought the competition back to Norway. And because of that, tonight we can say, Velkommen til Oslo! You should give that a go, you know. Velkommen til Oslo. The Eurovision Song Contest was born in Lugano in 1956, with only seven countries competing. During these last few weeks, artists from 39 countries have arrived here in Oslo to share this moment. Tonight is the first of two semi-finals, and we will hear 17 countries fight for 10 places in the final. It's up to you at home to decide their destiny, and for the first time ever, you don't have to wait until the end of the show to vote. No, in just a short moment, we will open up the lines. Yes, that's right, and in addition to your votes, each country has a jury that will also vote now, for their favourite without performer. boring you, there is a jury, but the UK is not voting tonight. The jury system might very well make a change to how it's normally run, but the UK is not voting tonight. Don't look at those numbers. Ignore those numbers. Look at those numbers and say, those aren't numbers. Don't look at them. And this is how it works all the, the UK way votes on Thursday. It's under rule 5042. We're watching, channeling for countries we want. Mais attention. Vous ne pouvez pas voter pour votre propre pays. 
You can vote for as many countries no, as you like. No, we can't tonight. The only rule is that you can't vote for your own country. And the UK doesn't vote Even tonight. Even though I know you want to. At the end of this evening, only 10 songs will have made it to the final. 17 countries are waiting nervously backstage. And millions of viewers are watching us at home right now. Oslo, are you ready to start the competition? This is a football stadium in the Premier League here. Men in shorts men give way to win. men in spandex. Let the Eurovision Song Contest begin. And women and from around the continent. Mesdames et messieurs, Europe, you can start voting now. Please help me out at uh, Eurobooth at bbc.co.uk.